News coming in in the last hour. The Office of the Special Prosecutor has this afternoon concluded that there is no evidence backing claims that a top government official assisted aircraft company Airbus to bribe various officials in Ghana. NDC flag bearer John Dramani Mahama has been named as the individual described as government official one in the Airbus scandal. His brother Samuel Adam Mahama has also been named as the intermediary alleged to have facilitated the payment of bribes to various Various officials. The special prosecutor, Kisi Ajabing, however, says it is concluded in this probe because it is not actionable. The OSP confirms the identity of the following individuals. Government official one, individual one. The individual described as government official one by the UK court and individual one by the US court is John Dramani Mahama. He is a citizen of Ghana. He was the Vice President of Ghana from 7 January 2009 to 24 July 2012. He was the President of Ghana from 24 July 2012 to 7 January 2017. His tenure of office as the Vice President of Ghana coincided with the time frame of the UK and US investigation of the first Airbus campaign for the sale of two C-295 aircraft to Ghana. His term of office as the President of Ghana occurred during the UK and US investigation time frame of the second Airbus campaign for the sale of one C-29 aircraft to Ghana. Intermediary 5, Consultant 4. The individual described as Intermediary 5 by the UK court and Consultant 4 by the US court is known both as Samuel Adam Mahama and Samuel Adam Foster. He is a UK citizen and also a citizen of Ghana. He is a younger brother of the full blood of John Dramani Mahama, former president of Ghana, referred to above. His birth name is actually Samuel Adam Mahama. But he was adopted from Ghana and taken to the UK in 1972 by a British missionary couple. He assumed the last name of his adopted parents, Foster, at age nine. He lost touch with his Ghanaian family until 1997. Intermediary 6, Consultant 5. The individual described as Intermediary 6 by the UK court and Consultant 5 by the US court is Philip Sean Middlemiss. He is a UK citizen. He is an English television and radio actor and businessman. He is a close friend of Samuel Adam Foster, otherwise known as Samuel Adam Mahama. Intermediary 7. The individual described as intermediary 7 by the UK court is Leanne Sarah Davis. She is a UK citizen. She is a partner to Philip Shaw Middlemans, referred to above. On 30 April 2020, the OSP requested the assistance of Interpol for the issuance of a red notice for the apprehension of Samuel Adam Foster, also known as Samuel Adam Mahama. Philip Sean Middlemiss, Leanne Sarah Davis, and Sarah Fenno, the spouse of Samuel Adam Foster. The red notice was published by Interpol on 10 July 2020. On 13 May 2020, the OSP sought and obtained warrants from the Circuit Court Accra for the arrest of Samuel Adam Foster, Sean, Philip Sean Middlemiss. Right, so that puts to rest the debate as to who government official one is and whether or not the former president had misconducted himself while in office. But let's give ourselves a quick refresher on what the Airbus scandal is all about. It covered the purchase of some three military-grade airplanes uh, for, from Airbus to Ghana. The nation received its first C-295 aircraft in November of 2011. The second aircraft was received in April 2012 and the third in November of 2015. We also know that in that UK judgment, uh, the CFO investigations found that Airbus had engaged in schemes that involved bribing its way to lucrative contracts in countries such as Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, Indonesia, and our beloved Ghana. We also know that that judgment said Airbus officials, as part of a scheme to obtain 
and or maintain these contracts with the governments of the countries outlined either bribed or agreed to bribe intermediaries with close links to a high-ranking state official said to have influence over the country's aircraft purchase plans between 2011 and 2015, which is where government official one became really, you know, really important conversation for us here in Ghana. But there's more. Uh, and I want to go, go over the recent updates that we are hearing now. The office has concluded investigations into alleged bribery by Airbus SE, a European multinational S Aerospace Corporation, regarding the sale and purchase of military aircraft from the Republic. The office was engaged with Interpol and the central authorities of the United Kingdom and the United States under the mutual legal assistance regime. Uh, the social prosecutor will issue directives and further action on the matter in due course. So we've gone over all of that, but a bit more on this. We know today what the special prosecutor has told us is that government official one is John Dramani Mahama, as many had uh, you know, predicted or suspected when the scandal first broke. Uh, intermediary five consultant four, four is Samuel Adam Mahama, who's also been identified as Samuel Adam Foster, also brother of uh, the former president John Dramani Mahama. Intermediary six, the consultant Philip Sean. And well, those are the names that the OSP has identified. Um, but most importantly, he's exonerated uh, the former president of any wrongdoing or receiving bribe of, or anything of that sort. But we'll get more from the ground, aren't we? Absolutely. We're taking you to the OSP's office right now where my colleague Christian Yali is stationed. He's been monitoring that press, uh, press conference for us. Uh, Christian has joined us via the phones. Chris, we've been hearing from the office of the special prosecutor. What other details has he been sharing, particularly after that news conference where questions were posed to him? Exactly. So the OSP actually uh, did not uh, respond to questions that that room was made, but apparently uh, th th there was not enough time for him to respond to questions. And so right after he was done, he, he accused that. But uh, essentially, just as you have enumerated, uh, the Office of the Special Prosecutor uh, began investigations into this scandal in February 2020. That time, she said Japan wasn't the special prosecutor then, but the investigations concluded in June 2024, I mean this year, when he was the special prosecutor. Now, among other things, the investigations led the OSC to contact officers in the United Kingdom and the United States uh, to confirm particular details of this scandal, especially in the case where uh, OSC tells us that you know, from the beginning, the uh, officials in the UK and in the, and in the US did not make information readily available to mm. the office. And so it, it has to take some time for them to, you know, actually begin their investigations into this. But um, in, in all of this, we know that um, this contract between uh, the government and Airbus began all the way in 2009 involving the purchase of some C-295 military aircraft that were to be sold to them. And so uh, the OSC finds that even from the courts in the UK and in the US respectively, uh, Airbus is said to have engaged in illegalities in, in terms of the procurement processes or the purchase, uh, uh, the purchase agreements that were engaged in between government of Ghana officials and then Airbus. And so as it stands, uh, Airbus, even in the second window of the, of the procurement process, is said to have not even entered into any written agreement with government. And also, uh, a supervised bribery uh, engagement between persons that are associated with Airbus itself and, uh, and officials of the, of the government. And so, several amounts of cash were paid to different third party companies right. to the tune of some 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 to the tune of three point nine million euros and what have you. Um, and, and also it was, it was even agreed or it was found during the investigations among other things that you know those C two nine five military aircraft that were to be purchased for government were not the most suitable for government operations. So among other things, uh, breaches of contracts or procurement 
bribery allegations were found throughout the investigations conducted by the Office of the Special Prosecutor, Eric. And the, the OSP stated that there was a bit of a difficulty in being able to get access to information. Did he explain whether or not this affected the, the body of work that he's undertaking? Eric, say the question again for me. I'm asking if the difficulty in being able to get access to information from the UK and US prosecutors uh, hampered in any way the conclusions uh, the OSP has arrived at. No, 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 not at all, not at all. The difficulty in getting access to this information uh, did not, according to the special prosecutor, it did, have been, did not affect the conclusions that the OSP has arrived at. The OSP is very confident that all the information that he has um, received or gotten through the investigation, because he said have been also told us that they were able to contact some of the identified persons like former President John Germani Mahama, Samuel Adia Mahama, and the associates in the UK and in the US who have been identified. And so throughout, they were able to make some contact with some of these persons to ascertain the veracity of some of the information that they had received or they had gotten. And so, uh, in all, they were able to get some information, some tangible information. And indeed, the court or the officials in the UK and in the US were subsequently or later able to, you know, release some information mm. that the OSC could confirm the veracity of them thereof, uh, upon which they have been able to arrive at these conclusions and, and, and can confirm that even though some illegalities and breaches were uh, uh, engaged in the identified person, like government official one, who is John Germani Mahama, intermediary five, and what have you, which uh, comprise Samalaga Mahama, uh, Sarah, and right. the rest of the associates, uh, cannot be said to have been induced in whatsoever to favor Airbus uh, in the procurement of these P295 aircraft for the government of Ghana operations. Christian, thank you. Uh, that's my colleague Christian Yali providing details from uh, that special prosecutor's press conference just coming through in relation to the Airbus scandal, uh, who uh, we understand now that the former president has been exonerated by the office of the special prosecutor. Well, we know that uh, Mr. Mahama has at all times denied any wrongdoing on the, or in this particular matter. Now, listen to him a few weeks ago when he addressed journalists. Some allegations were thrown against me. I've been out of office for seven years and seven months. You think that if this government had anything they could stand on with how they hate my persona, they would not have prosecuted me for it. Airbus, the president referred it to the OSP, and the OSP is supposed to investigate it. You don't expect me to investigate myself. And so if they had something to stand on, I'll not be standing here today. The words of John Mahama. Let's bring in the National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jemfi, who's joined us via the phone this afternoon. Mr. Jemfi, many thanks for speaking to us. A vindication of your position in the NDC and that of Mr. Mahama that at all times he did nothing wrong in this particular scandal. This is the exciting news coming from the Office of Social Prosecutor. Vindicated the truth we've always known. That President Mahama is squeaky clean. President Mahama's integrity is unblemished. President Mahama has never been corrupt and will never be corrupt. He's incorruptible. He served this nation dutifully when he had the opportunity to do so in various capacities. He's paid his views, he's contributed his quota, and he's done so in good conscience. He has not engaged in any form of corruption. He has not engaged in any illegal transactions against the interest of Ghana. And that is what the Office of Social Prosecutor has found in case of the investigations into this airbag matter. Mm. The OSP has a goal that no wrongdoing uh, happened on the part of John Mahama or his brother Foster. And that everything that was done in the procurement of those aircraft conformed to the requirements of law. And that the, the nation Ghana was not shortchanged in any way. No bribes were paid to Dormahama. No bribes were demanded by Dormahama. 
And um, in fact, the special prosecutor says that his involvement in the whole transaction was with good intention. This is the man some of us believe in. This is the man mm. we are marketing to the Ghanaian people again. Right. But, but the office of the special there. prosecutor, Mr. Jemfi, had cause to caution Mr. Mahama to insulate himself from such transactions going forward. In fact, well, listening advice. to him, is, he raised advice. possible concerns of a conflict of interest situation which Mr. Mahama should have recused himself upon realizing that his brother was an intermediary of Airbus. He never, the OSP never read any conflict of interest matter. Please go and read the report well, well. The, the uh, OSP the report. has he stated that, that, that Mr. Mahama should have recused. That, what, mm. what are you saying? You, you can what go ahead. You, you, you can go ahead. I said the OSP has not made any finding of conflict of interest against John Mahama. The OSP only gave an advice mm. that um, based on the fact that Foster, the intermediary of Airbus, is a full-blooded brother of John Mahama. John Mahama should have known that um, he could raise suspicion of some wrongdoing. That is it. He's not saying that there was wrongdoing. And he says that John Mahama's involvement in the whole transaction was with good intentions. He says that there is no evidence that any bribe was demanded by either Foster or John Mahama or any intermediary. And no such bribes were paid. He has been very categorical. And he has not made, because he is even found that your Mohammed's brother Foster was engaged to be an agent of Airbus after the government had already approved the procurement of the aircraft transaction. So the office of the special prosecutor says that it was a luxurious coincidence that the agent Airbus decided to engage happened to be the brother of your Mohammed. So please. This matter is totally dead, like they would say in Yawza. Yawuchu. Totally dead. The Omahama has been vindicated. Mm. The NPP now have eggs all over their states. Akufuadu, who kept mountain pressure on Martinamidu to indict the Omahama at all costs. And the entire corrupt Akufuadu Bawumia and Japadia Kabal, who are desperately trying to engage in equalization who are desperately trying to find corruption classmates. So they have acts all over their faces. Shame on them. All the wicked lies they told against John Mahama have been exposed for what they were. Lies and nothing more. And John Mahama remains incorruptible. He remains critically. And I have no doubt in my mind that Ghanaians will give him another opportunity to leave this country again so right. that he can go after the real thief we keep stolen funds for development and jail all those found culpable. Mr. Jemfi, I appreciate uh, that you could provide these thoughts for us. That's Sami Jemfi, he's a national communications officer of the NDC, bringing in his quick thoughts on the latest. He says that the matter is dead and that he believes that the former president has been exonerated.